Hey guys, Mikey here with Tacti California. Thank you so much for tuning in to part four of how to get a CCW in California. All right, how to get a CCW in California, part four, here we go. In case you missed parts one through three, I will leave a link in the description box below to those videos, so make sure you check those out. Basically, let's recap real quick. We turned it in an application, we paid some money, we got fingerprinted, we waited 10 months, then we finally got a phone call, we did an interview, and then that's where I left you guys off in part three. So here's part four. So I got that letter of approval. Once you get that letter of approval, you need to choose a competent, not just competent, but actually listed, like approved, CCW instructor, and you need to go through a class. It can be no, uh, no shorter than eight hours and no longer than 16 hours. I've also heard that it's a mandatory 16 hours. My class was 16 hours, really nothing to worry about there, just so you understand what you're looking, uh, what you're looking at. There's a lot of guys on that list to choose from, okay? And I mean a lot. And I called around, and I'm not trying to insult anybody else, but they either were so busy they just couldn't get back to me, or they were rude and they didn't bother wanting my business, or they charged an arm and a leg, or they came across as completely incompetent when I spoke to them either face-to-face -face or on the phone. I did both. I really hunted around. I didn't just want to get this CCW out of the way. I wanted to get my money's worth of training. Okay, guys? I think that training is probably the most overlooked expense with firearms. We really need to make sure that we're doing everything we can, obviously, to have the right gear, to have enough ammunition, and all that kind of stuff. And it's fun to go out and just plank. But I'm telling you, we've got to train. So getting a competent trainer, someone you're going to take something away from the course from, was really important to me. So who did I land on for training? Because you could you could choose from all those people, right? Well, I landed on Mike Rowan from Trigger Burst. And I can honestly say it's worth every penny, okay? I love training with Mike. It was such a fun experience. It was really rewarding. And I took away way more than I thought I was going to take away from this class. So the first part of the course is legal stuff, okay? We go, we go over descriptions of manslaughter, involuntary manslaughter, murder, brandishing, homicide, justifiable homicide, what's an atrocious felony, uh, all that kind of stuff. And that really helps you understand, uh, honestly, it really helps you build. It's a great foundation to build a shoot or no shoot scenario off of. You, you really understand what's at stake if you were to pull that gun after going through the legal parts of the class. So the legal, uh, the first, I think it was like four or five hours. It was a great experience. I took so much from that, I took extensive notes. I highly recommend you guys to do the same. Should you take a class from Mike, it'll help you retain a lot of what's going on. The second part of the class, again in the classroom, was more of the stuff that we're probably looking for in a concealed carry class. We're working on grip, sight alignment, sight picture. We're, look, we're working on our draw stroke. We're working on um, how to clear malfunctions. Uh, obviously, uh, the you know the primary firearm safety rules, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it was just overwhelmingly fun. I know that stuff inside and out, guys, and I still took away from it. He was still able to teach me things. If you go to his class, you will learn something, no matter your experience level. I guarantee it. Once you've gone through that, that portion, you, you move on to probably the coolest thing that sets Trigger Burst apart from all the other CCW guys in our area. That is the Milo Range Simulator. This guy has a complete 100% legit simulator that is exactly like the ones that, the, that law enforcement uses to train their officers on shoot, no shoot scenarios and all that kind of stuff. So we got to train on that and that is so incredibly helpful. Let me tell you this, you think you'll know what you do in a situation and you're, you're, you're dead wrong. And in fact, you've never thought of all the myriad of different ways a scenario can turn out. And doing these simulators just is so eye-opening to what you really would do in a scenario. It honestly, for me, was so overwhelmingly positive and I just can't speak enough for it. He does. If you already have your CCW, you're not doing it. Uh, you, for whatever reason, you can still do training on his simulator. I think he charges $75 an hour to run that simulator with you and he'll coach you through stuff. It's, it's invaluable training. Please go do it. 
All right, so part three, after you've done the simulator, you go home, you come back the next day, and we did qualification shooting. Right off the bat, uh, I loved it. We didn't do any warm-ups or anything. He offered to do warm-ups, so if that's something you need to do, I'm sure you can do it. But uh, all the people in my class, there was only three of us, we just declined to do warm-ups and went straight into the qualification shooting, which I was really thankful to just get it over with. The qualification shooting, at least for here in Ventura County, I'm sure it varies county to county, but it was um, several draws from concealment, several rounds each draw at various distances. So we shot at 15 yards, we shot all the way in at three yards, um, and everywhere in between. So it was very, uh, it was honestly a really good test to see where you're going to be putting rounds on target. If you are qualifying with more guns than one, like I was, I was putting five guns on my on my permit then you need to do all of that staging with each firearm, okay? He'll be counting every round. You're qualifying on what's called a B27 target. It's basically a black silhouette target with a red X ring in the middle and some score rings. Um, I was able to keep pretty much all my shots uh, tight to the X and definitely not on the X, but tight to the X. I would say that, um, you know, probably about an eight-inch group or so uh, for, the, for all five guns, which for me uh, was very real world accurate. I really dug that. So once you go through the qualification shootings, he starts running you through different scenarios and training exercises that really help with CCW, all of which are draws from concealment, but it might be the threat is behind you. So you need to turn while drawing, which he covered in the classroom and then we practiced out on the range. It might be shooting while moving, which is definitely something we were doing. I got to say, he really challenged me. I love it. As you can see here, I did pretty much okay on the on these targets, but he gave us a hostage target. And we had to shoot that while moving rearward anywhere from 3 to 15 yards one-handed. So I really enjoyed the challenge, and it was very realistic. You might be protecting some loved ones behind you, and you need to engage that threat and make sure that they stay away and you're protecting someone simultaneously. So I had a blast and that was that and I'm really thankful that, that that was the course I chose. I know I got a ton out of it. I will definitely be training with Mike in the future with a bunch of other classes. I'll try to film those as well for you guys. So what's next? We got our letter of approval. We did our training. Now what? Now your instructor turns in the information about which handguns you qualified with that are going to go on your CCW and probably some other paperwork that I'm not privy to. I don't know. And once that's turned in, you call the sheriff's department, at least that's what I did, and I made an appointment to finish the CCW. That's right, finish it. Hopefully the next CCW video you guys see from me, I will be holding my card and I will have a holstered concealed firearm, okay? I'm really looking forward to that. But basically all you do is you make the phone call, you schedule that little appointment, mine is in a week from when I made the phone call, and you just go in, pay 80 more dollars, and they take your picture and they give you a CCW. So hopefully that's what goes on, and hopefully that's the next video for you guys. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to the channel for more videos, including the, fu the finale video of the CCW and gun reviews and stuff like that. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Micah with Tactic California.